Hello, and thank you for tuning in to our quick Photoshop tutorial on how to white balance your original art capture. Today we're going to be working with the painting that you see in front of us, and as you can tell, it was not taken in proper lighting conditions. Uh, the whites are very yellow and orange, and uh, today we're going to be showing you how to fix that in Photoshop. You also notice that there's a few other problems. There's a tear in the canvas right here, and it's also not quite square. Uh, this is because when um, the artist originally did this image capture, they weren't lined up properly with the canvas. And uh, we'll show you how to fix those issues in future videos. So make sure to subscribe and tune back in to see how that's done. But now back to today's main focus, which is white balance. Uh, we're going to be using our adjustments, and if you don't have this window or tab open, simply go up to Window and click on Adjustments, and it will open it for you. This has all sorts of useful tools like brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure, and a whole bunch more. We're going to be working with our levels today. So we're going to click on this icon, and you'll see it will bring up this window here. Uh, a real quick and simple um, definition of levels. It adjusts your brightness, contrast, and tonal range by specifying the location of a complete black, complete white, and your midtones. So what that means is um, if we use these eyedroppers over here, I can select a sample and tell the software what is my black, my gray, or my white point. And since we're doing a white balance, we're going to be working with the white eyedropper and a little bit with the white slider down here on the right. So to start off, I'm gonna use the slider and I'm gonna hold Alt on my computer keyboard. Um, I'm using Windows, so I'm holding Alt and it will turn everything black. And as I start to slide it over to the left, you're gonna see some color starting to pop up uh, where the image was. This is the whitest area on the canvas. So you can see that top left-hand corner is starting to show a lot of color as well as a circle in the middle. Those are the whitest areas on the canvas. So now I'm gonna set everything back to how it was. And now I know where to start. So I'm gonna click on my white eyedropper and I'm gonna go up to this corner where that color first started to show. And again, by clicking here, I'm gonna be telling the software that this area is actually supposed to be pure white and it drastically changes the image. You can go down here to your layers and click on and off and just to see how much it changed and it, it is quite a big difference. Now a lot of this wouldn't be necessary if proper lighting conditions uh, were around when they did the original art capture but oftentimes you know that's not quite um, as easy as it sounds and um, that's what the white balance is for. So you can see that there's this dark kind of dingy area up on the right hand corner that's probably due to the age and wear and tear on this uh, particular painting. I would imagine this was done probably in the 60s and if I uh, wanted it to get whiter I can click in some of these darker areas and tell the software that in fact now this is supposed to be pure white and you can see how it changes and uh, again I can do that in this area and it really changes uh, quite a bit in fact too much in my opinion um, we're getting some color shift and uh, it just kind of looks blown out overall so um, because we don't have this you know canvas in-house at our studio uh, we would be reaching out to the artist to see what their intent was um, it's a lot easier to be doing these uh, this proofing if we have the original in front of us. Um, so what we'll be doing today is simply just finding something that looks, you know, a lot better than the original and something that we think the artist might be shooting for. And then we'd send them a series of proofs and let them give us uh, their feedback. So I think this looks pretty good and we're going to call it done for today. Um, I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and shows you just how drastic change a simple few clicks can make with the uh, levels adjustment. And like I said, subscribe and tune back in to see how we fix the rest of this canvas up.